In this meditation, we're going to go to your safe place, away and out of the winds of life, a sanctity for a period of time to re-energize you. Lauren here. Today we're going to do a meditation during which you're going to go to your safe place. We all have a safe place and that safe place is deeply within ourselves. Today we're going to imagine, we're going to visualize our safe place. In the sanctity of our safe place, we are free to think, we are free to be ourselves, we are free to heal, we are free to develop a deep and sustainable knowledge of who we are, who we are meant to be, and we have the power to let go of our past. So find a dedicated, safe place now, and we will begin. Remember during this meditation you are free at any time to stop, simply open your eyes and you can end the meditation. Once you have your dedicated space in which to meditate, you can choose to Sit down or lie down comfortably and we can start. In your sitting or lying down position, simply be. Simply embrace the silence. Notice yourself. Notice your breathing, your breathing patterns. Notice how you hold your physical self. Perhaps you'd like to imagine that you're looking down on your body and notice any residual stress. Notice without judgment, without issue, without concern. Perhaps your temples hold stress. Perhaps your throat, perhaps your shoulders. Simply notice. That's all, just notice. The art of noticing is a skill. Noticing is about detachment. Noticing is about quiet observation. You are the witness. Notice how you physically feel. Notice how you physically feel. Now notice how you emotionally feel. Notice with detachment, how you feel, how are you feeling? Without labeling the feelings, just notice them. Notice their complexity. Notice their diversity. At any one time we feel several feelings. Honor each individual feeling. Notice your physical self and notice your feeling self. In your sitting or lying down position and as you notice, as you develop the skill of noticing, you feel 
a sense of quiet envelop you. And you find this sense of quiet comforting. Notice the sense of comfort. Comfort. How does it feel to be comfortable? How does it feel to be comfortable? Notice your pattern of breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose, the miracle of breath, the miracle of breath, the gift of breath is enough, it is simply enough, breathe slowly, accept the pattern of breath this moment has given you. Breathe slowly. You feel a sense of security, a sense of comfort in noticing your breath. You imagine the journey of breath in through the nose the nostrils down through each lung, circulating through the lung and exhaling through the nose. The pattern of breath is almost hypnotic, in through the nose and out through the nose, in through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose. I want you to take one hand and lightly place it upon the other hand. Feel the texture of your skin. Notice the texture of your skin, the warmth, the fluidity, the sense of being alive, the warm skin. Is another gift and symbol of life. Notice this sense of comfort. Feel comfort from the act of one hand being placed upon the other. Take both your hands and place them upon your head. With light downward strokes, stroke your scalp, your head, notice the warmth, notice the 
is the life running through you. Feel grateful for the life. Feel comfort from the repetition of stroking your own head. A demonstration of acknowledging that you are alive and this life is a gift, an opportunity. I'm going to count down from ten and then we're going to go to your safe place inside your mind. You are safe. You are safe in the silence. You are safe in the quiet, in the sacred silence. Quiet. I want you to imagine with the powers of your imagination your safe place. You are within your safe place. It has a door. It has walls. It has windows. And it is sparsely furnished. You are the architect of your safe place. You create this space to reflect who you are, your journey, where you are going to, and where you have been. In this space you can let go of the past, and in letting go, you embrace your present and prepare for your future. In your mind's eye, look around your safe place. Look around, look up, look left, look right. Notice, this is the space in which you can be yourself. When you visit this space, you feel re-energized you feel revitalized in order to go back to life with greater vigor, a greater sense of self, more tolerance, more contentment and greater insight. This place is sacred Look at the walls. What colour are they? Imagine yourself running your fingers along the walls. Boundary. 
always give us the ability, the ability to be ourselves. Your walls in your safe place. Your safe place as a door. Your safe place as a door. In your mind's eye, in your mind's eye, walk over to the door. the door. And imagine yourself touching the door. You have closed the door. You close the door in order that you can replenish your energy stores, in order that you can be well, in order that you can develop insight. There are drawers in your safe place. Open the drawers. Inside the drawer is a box. I want you to take the box out. you store the issues that you need to process and unpack when you're ready. Open the box. Notice the box. Take your issues, your concerns, You choose when to open the box. You choose. There are times to process the issues in your box and there are times to put the box away. To put the box away. Take the box and place it in the drawer. And shut the Look around your safe place. 
her bookshelves. On the bookshelves are your values, your beliefs, your feelings and your attitudes. Take one of the books representing your values down. Open it. Notice inside. Notice inside. Everything inside you have written. You have written an entire book about this particular value. This value is who you are. There are several more books on the shelf, each one representing an individual value. You flip through the pages slowly. You notice that you are in control. You write these books. You write your story. Perhaps you do not have control over all the events, but you have Imagine yourself holding the book to you. Have a look back up at the shelf. Which values are important? Are there any values that need to be put away? Have a look at the shelf. You can decide what books go on your shelf and what books to be taken down and what books need to be taken down you decide look at your bookshelf with your values, your beliefs, your feelings with acceptance forgive yourself your mistakes review and adjust what you can review and adjust and accept what you cannot Review or adjust. Accept. Change. Or withdraw. There are several shelves. Imagine yourself touching the shelves. The shelves are beautiful. The shelves represent part of your consciousness. This is your safe place, so in this place you decide the walls, you decide the door, you decide the boundaries, you decide the bookshelves, you decide the values, the attitudes, the feelings. Now up on the bookshelf is a book marked the past. You can see it clearly. Look at the spine of the book. Across the spine is written simply the past. Take the book down. In your mind's eye, touch the book. Notice it. Does it belong on the shelf in your safe room? What has it given you? Have a look through it. What has it given you? Why don't you leave it off the shelf? 
Notice how uncluttered the shelf appears without this book titled The Past. Place the book down. You do not need to put it back on the shelf. You do not need to put that book back on your shelf. Leave the book off the shelf. You can do this. And look back at the shelf now. Notice how uncluttered it is without your past. Notice how the other books stand out a little bit more. Notice how their spines and their titles stand out a little bit more without the book titled Your Past. Now suddenly your values seem clearer. Your attitudes seem more defined. And your direction is right before you direction is right before you. Look at the bookshelf and feel comfort. Isn't that better? Look around you. There's an ambient light. It's very pleasant. Very pleasant. Is there any other books that you need to take down? Are there any adjustments that need to be made to your bookshelf? You are smiling, a gentle smile, an accepting smile. You are okay. Everything is okay. In your safe place, everything is okay. Because you make it so. You define it. You create it. You reinforce it. You. I want you to say to yourself, look around your safe place. Look around your safe place. I can do this. I can create my own walls when and if necessary. I open and close my door as required. I create my own bookshelves and I decide what books to place on my shelf, which feelings, which values, which attitudes I decide, I decide, I feel comfortable. Look around your room. You can come to this room, this space, this place, any time you choose. And every time you come here, you feel stronger. Every time you come here, you feel clearer. You feel more resilient. Accept the pattern of breath that this moment has given you. Breathe slowly. of breath that this moment has given you. Breathe slowly.
accept the pattern of breath that this moment has given. time you come in.
Notice the sense of comfort. Notice the sense of comfort.
notice the sense of comfort. 